Hey guys, so today is going to be a clothing haul with a try on, kind of in between everything. The only things I'm not going to be trying on are the shorts. I will show you guys kind of them. And if you follow my daily vlogs on my vlog channel, a lot of them I have shown kind of like outfit of the days and stuff like that with the shorts on. The only reason I'm not trying them on now is because at the dermatologist the other day I had two biopsies on my left leg. So I have like nasty bandages and stuff wrapped on them. So I will show you the outfit I have on right now with the pants. Part of the uh, pants, like bottoms that I bought at Torrid I have on right now. The only thing I'm not going to try on is the shorts just because I just don't want to show my legs. So let's jump right in. A while back Torrid had their Hope Cash which is similar to any other place that has Hope Cash. You buy so much during a certain time and they give you money to spend in the future type thing. So uh, somebody emailed me on Instagram and gave me her code for 120 off 250. So I utilized it and I went ahead and bought three bottoms, two pairs of shorts, a pair of boyfriend jeans, and three tank tops. So let's start with bottoms. I was looking for some new summer shorts and I'm kind of finicky when it comes to shorts. I have a couple pairs from uh, Target from a few years back and then I also have two pairs from Walmart from a few years back. Those are all size 22s and some of them fit better than others. The 22s from Target fit great. The 22s from Walmart are, are a little snug. So I was like kind of iffy with Torrid. I have a pair of shorts that are a size 26 from them that I got on clearance that ended up being free and that's the only size that they had and they're super big and I have to wear a belt with them or else they slip right off. So I was kind of unsure. I ended up ordering 24s for everything thinking that would give me lots of wiggle room. I'm kind of weird like I said about my bottoms especially shorts because I have big thighs and I have lots of cellulite and so length and stuff was kind of an issue but like I said I ended up wearing 24s I really wanted them roomy and I wanted them to wash and shrink up nicely and everything work out fine I should have got 22s and I did not these are what the 24s look like these are the uh, let's say it doesn't say it just says size 24 but these are a uh, four inch inseam so the inseam is like you take here's the private area and then you take the inseam here like how long it is from this to this so it's four inch inseam and I was kind of iffy about these because they are kind of short so you can see here they're like a light denim uh, a little faded wash there they're kind of distressed on the bottom but the thing I love about these is they have lace to kind of make them a tiny bit longer which I really like um, and then the other side is pretty similar and I've washed these already a couple of times and I find that the lace is not like it doesn't it's kind of like a doily lace <laughs> if that makes sense it doesn't like you don't have to iron it or anything it just falls into place and then on the bottom it has distressed on the jeans on the pockets but there's no significant holes or anything like that I have a pair that I wore camping that are size 22s from Target and they have a, already a rip like a pre-made rip in them and I got in the water with them and so they stretched out even more and the, all of the little fringe on the rip tore and now it's just a big old hole in my thigh so I was kind of disappointed in that these have held up really nicely they did shrink a little bit but I wish I had got a 22 I'm satisfied with the 24 I don't have to have a belt but by the end of the day I do have to pull them up pretty significantly but in the beginning they fit great which is what I like I don't like having to put on my pants or my shorts and having to work at them like fitting throughout the day or anything so that was perfect the other pair that I got which I really like and these fit very nicely as well but the same idea these are just the regular classic shorts and I'd say again a four inch inseam these I've already worn so they're kind of like stretched out but these are a uh, also a size 24 and they're black denim there's no distress stress distress in them there's no rips or anything they're just black denim basic shorts and I am just a little self-conscious of having to like pull them down out of my thigh area throughout the day but I've noticed because of the 
bigness of them because they are bigger. They sit on my hips a lot lower because I have to work at keeping them up because they're bigger. Like I said, I should have got a size 22, but it works out perfect because it gives them a little bit more length without trying too hard, if that makes sense. So that's one tip that I have that if you are looking for a little bit more length but not too, too much length, buy one size bigger if you're plus size, because if you're tiny, buying a size bigger wouldn't work. You want tight shorts. But if you're trying to kind of hide your cellulite, but you don't want to wear the board shorts, I get tired of wearing board shorts everywhere. I like having the shorter length shorts, you know? So I get these, got them in a bigger size, and they sit a little lower on my hips, and they work perfect. Very happy with those. Very, very happy. Now, if I were to lose maybe even... 15 or 20 more pounds, they wouldn't fit. They will be, they would be like my 26s. I would have to wear a belt. Typically, like Lane Bryant, I wear a size 20 to 22. I used to be an 18, 20, and then once I had Autumn, oh, like right before, no, not probably like at the end of my last pregnancy, uh, the end of Maddie's pregnancy, like coming off of it, I did lose some weight and then kind of gained it a little bit weirder. My bottom half is bigger than it used to be. I used to be able to wear an 1820 and be fine. Now it's like my, I have extra skin in my stomach area and I am mostly a 2020, like a 22 and almost everything that I wear now because I have this like mom pouch of extra stomach <laughs> hanging where my jeans actually button up so I need that extra room um, so going up a size to a 24 really does help with the room same thing with these jeans like I don't know if you can see but you can't see I can like pull them way out. I have so much extra room, but it makes them so comfortable. <laughs> so, so comfortable. So I will show you guys these jeans kind of throughout um, like what I'm wearing. The top is from somewhere else, I will tell you guys, but the jeans are the boyfriend jean. I think they're the boyfriend relaxed from Torrid, and I really like the wash of them. They're like a light denim or like a medium wash denim. They do have rips, but I like the fact that behind the rip, there's an actual like jean panel, so you never see skin, which I enjoy. I like the fact that you can roll them up to different sizes because they are like they can completely unroll and you can roll them up once. I have them rolled twice. I love the little distressed like pieces on the pockets. I like the fact that it has real pockets and then like I said they're big but they work nicely for me especially when I'm just kind of moping around and don't really need like or if it's that time of the month and you need the extra room. I like having the bigger size. So those are the pants that I got from Torrid. For the shirts I got a bunch of like slinky summer shirts. This one is first. It was $38.90, I don't know, all of this stuff was about $127, so I can't tell you after the coupons and everything what it was. This is in a size 3, and this is a really cool shirt. I'm going to show you guys what this stuff looks like on, but it's not going to be a true depiction of it because you'll be able to see my bra and stuff through it, but this is essentially what it looks like. This one is see-through, so you do need some sort of like bralette or tank top or something to go on it but it's um, black with these like neon orange pink flowers and it has this really cool crisscrossing up in front I don't even know if you guys can see it there super cool and so I really like that one I haven't worn that one yet but I'm excited to this one I have worn if you follow my vlogs I had this one on and I got a lot of compliments on it I forgot where I wore it to though but this one's also see-through. It was easy to wear a tank top under this, though, because of the way that the back is. It's kind of like a like a regular tank top. So this is hot pink with black polka dots. And then it kind of buttons here and makes it into almost like partial choker type of shirt, if that makes sense. Like I said, you guys have seen it on me. I love the detailing in the front throw a black tank top on over, underneath it and it worked out well. And then the last little tank top that I got, uh, oh and they're all a size 3. This one was white and it has like some tribal, not even tribal, just like diamond <laughs> pattern on the front. And it's kind of racerback type like that. 
also a little see-through um, so you either could wear like a bandeau with it or you could wear a tank top but you'd have to have like a bra strappy bra that um, would fit in the back this is the only problem with shirts like this it makes it kind of hard so you'll see kind of how those fit on me some of them fit better than others sometimes I've told you guys before the threes work great for me sometimes they don't work that great for me it just depends on the shirt and the style and the cut and um, the material of it whether they work or not I kind of always just order the same size from them and like I said some work and some don't and those worked or I could make them work okay so now for Walmart I'm just going to show you a couple of these tried on because um, a lot of them are the exact same thing they're just different colors or different patterns so this one I wore for 4th of July with the black shorts the ones from Torrid and this I did show that outfit in that vlog this is a 3x 2224 and it's the faded I think these are all faded glory but it has um, like a crochet knit material on the like bib line here and it almost looks like a tie-dye wash type of shirt and it flows out to the side it has that like crinkled effect I mean it's kind of wrinkled but it also has that crinkled effect flows out to the side and it comes to a point on each side so it's a little bit bigger on the bottom than it is on top but it's super flattering super cute very nice just easy tank top nothing no frills no mess no fuss and uh, I think these were all 11 I can tell you right now 1177 which is a really great deal uh, I mean even for Walmart that's a really great deal and then I think I got one oh yeah I got two of those so a, a lot of the shirts and you guys know if you've watched my hauls before I, a lot of times when I buy plus size clothes if I like the shirt I will buy one in each color or the colors that stand out to me just because it's hard for me to find clothes especially at a decent price point so I ended up getting that shirt and this was just in the plus size section. Yeah, they were 1177 3X, also in a 2224. I didn't even try these on. I was just hoping that they worked because um, typically in Walmart I wear a 3X. And I've mentioned before now that I've had to, ever since being pregnant, I've had to go into like a 22. Sometimes the 2X will fit. I didn't even try on the 2X in this particular um, sh in these particular shirts, I may have been able to do a 2x, but to me it's like I would rather have the room. Walmart's clothing has started to run so small for me in general. Even if I could wear an 1820, which is a 2x there, um, sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. So I don't even chance it. Um, but anyway, this is the exact same shirt. So it has that um, crochet detailing here at the top. And you can see it a little bit better in this one when you turn it on the back like the crinkling creased effect in there this one is a like red maroon orange type of fading the other one was blue and then you can see it goes out to a point there so I really like that shirt so had to get two of them and then this tank top as well I don't know how many colors I picked up in this one but I really like this tank top 3x uh, 1177 in the women's plus size section also faded glory so these I like because you can wear a regular bra. I do like the little strappy tank tops. Those are super cute to go with shorts. I mean, any of these would go well with shorts, but I really like tank tops that you can wear just a regular bra with. You don't have to worry about what color bra you're wearing, what straps are hanging out, whether you need a strapless bra or a crisscross bra or anything like that. You just wear a regular bra with it. I like that. So this is like a burnt orange color and has um, this like bib overlay of what reminds me of like a tribal print of some sort but essentially it's just like lines and triangles and different weaving of fabric um, kind of sewn throughout there but it's really pretty v-neck and then it's just a basic tank top that's it it's a little bit of that like flouncy material it's straight at the bottom and it's just really pretty it's very flattering on definitely when I saw this this was something that I knew I would like so I went ahead and picked it up in a few different colors I got this navy blue. I really like the pattern on this one. I love navy in general. So that one's super pretty. So that's what I was saying. Like all of these kind of look the same. I'm just going to try on one for you. I haven't decided what color. And then I picked up this one in this like jewel toned jade color. Oh, it's more of like a turquoise. 
but I like the pattern on this one as well. So that one, and then also picked it up in this like royal purple, which is so beautiful. This is such a pretty purple. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the coloring on this one, but I love the purple. So yeah, I had to pick up all of those and it was nice, like I said, to have something to kind of choose from that I knew would be, it would fit and it would work no matter what. I also picked up a tank top randomly. These were $2.68. I got the 3X. It's just a nude cami. I don't know. I haven't tried this on. I don't know if this is going to work or not. It doesn't have a built-in bra or anything. And to me, these seem kind of on the short side. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to try them on. They may actually be long, but they seem a little on the short side. But for $2, I figured even if it didn't work, I could wear it as a sleep shirt or something. But I'm always looking for a good tank top and the tank tops that I was wearing or that I do wear sometimes are my nursing tank tops back when I got them when I had Maddie and those are expensive they're almost $20 a piece and who wants to wear a nursing tank top all the time you know what I mean like I don't want to do that so I would rather have something a little bit cheaper that I can get in multiple colors and then the last two shirts that I got one of them I'm wearing right now these are the same shirt different patterns this is Faded Glory, also like same everything, 1177 3X, but it's a different shirt altogether. This is like, um, I don't know, like kind of a, it's a button up shirt. This one is actually, the, yeah, this is like a denim blue with white polka dots and this is buttoned up all the way and it has a pocket that you can utilize and it's just a regular tank top. So I like this one. I knew I would like the one that I have on though. I knew I would. Like this is the same idea. It's a regular tank top. This one's a v-neck. It only has a few buttons on here though. And I will actually get up and show you guys this. But the print on it. I mean you guys know I'm obsessed with floral. The print on it is so beautiful. It's like roses with like a faded denim background. It's very pretty. Very flattering. Goes well with my boyfriend jeans. I really like it. It feels nice. I've been wearing it all day. I haven't had any like complaints about it or anything. I really, really like it. I'm so happy I picked these up on a whim. They did have other patterns in these. These two were the ones that caught my eye the most. So that was the end of my Walmart slash Torrid plus size clothing haul, try on haul, whatever you want to call it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I am so excited to hang this stuff up. I've been waiting so long to wear all of this stuff and I keep having to like bring all my Torah things back together because I keep wearing them and I'm like no no I need to haul that stuff and then I wear them again no no I need to haul that stuff so I'm definitely going to be checking out some more regular jeans from Torrid and shorts I really like the way that they fit and maybe the next time that I go I can actually go to a 22 and they'll be comfortable but I'm gonna go in store and try them on because I don't ordering online is like a hit or miss and I hate returning stuff once I've already ordered it so I'm very happy with all my purchases though like I said I hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments down below what you thought and also some of the places you guys have got some good stuff lately so I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one bye